Now you probably heard what happened in AIA. Extortion. Oh, this airport continues to live up to its name. One of the worst airports in the world. Continues to embarrass us Filipinos. And it's really worrying because the pattern, it, it, most of the time it happens, they target foreigners. You really have to be very vigilant, guys, when we're at the airport. Now, the extortion incident happened to Thai national. To a Thai national victimized by airport security personnel. The screeners! You know how we give them everything, our stuff. We have to take our shoes off pa. And this is what they do pala. There's a video, as you can see here in the video. A female screener putting something or handing out something to a pocket to the pocket of a male screener what was that money money that was taken from the bag of a foreign passenger the thai national as soon as the thai national found out that money was missing from his bag he approached the personnel he was asking for cctv footage and you know what the personnel said oh we don't have cctv footage here uh, if you want to make a complaint, you have to go to the central office. A very unhelpful, no? Of course, because he was involved in it. If you were in that situation, that money was missing in your bag, and this is the response of the airport personnel, no? they're unhelpful and they're lying through their teeth, what would you do? And this national was only there in Manila for a layover transit. He had to catch another flight, pa? Does he have enough time to go to central office, file a complaint? If I were in that situation, I'd, I'd just feel hopeless. But luckily for this Thai national, there was another Thai national who witnessed the theft and was able to record, record it. So this good citizen, another Thai national approached that victim and showed the video and then we caught them. They approached the personnel, airport personnel, and well, guess what? They were brought to a corner. Okay. 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 The money was refunded and they were ordered to delete the video, which they did, but they didn't. After coming home to Thailand, the guy who had a video posted it on social media. It made rounds. It was even featured in a local Thai news. Yikes. And that's why we're here. If not for the video, the money would still be at the airport personnel, I'm sure. And there wouldn't be any news or reports. It would have been just another day in the year. So thank you. Good for that. We have to thank that person who recorded it. The money was worth around 20,000 yen or 8,000 pesos. And the victim is keen on filing cases. Good. Those corrupt airport personnel must go to jail. The government has already relieved them from their post, suspended. And they are arranging to file administrative cases as well. According to the government, the Department of Transportation, this illegal acts will not be tolerated and we will apply the full force of the law to penalize the perpetrators. Dapat lang. Manila Airport Authority already installed more CCTV cameras and they also removed the film of the glass of the x-ray machine so you guys can see it transparent. But on to CCTV cameras, there were CCTV cameras there. And those airport personnel, they knew that there were cameras there. But they still did it. Diba? Does installing more camera, would that really help? So much for more fun in the Philippines. Ah, oh, bad image for us. Our poor tourism industry. Another embarrassing, enraging incident. Takahiya. And you know what? Yesterday, another incident. Again, the victim, a foreigner, a Chinese national. Another office of the transportation security personnel was arrested for stealing. This time, a watch was stolen. Hmm. 
And these theft and pilferage incidents in the EIA, it's it's nothing new. It's it's been going on for decades. It's a long-standing problem, guys. It has happened many times before. And whoever sits there, whoever is the administration, parang it's just there. Like it's the problem is deeply rooted in the system, no? It's really important for us to be very, very vigilant when we're handing out our stuff to them. Keep our eyes to our stuff. What can we do? No? Like, how can we protect ourselves from those thieves? While there is no full proof from completely preventing these incidents, what we can do is just stay vigilant, alert at the airports, particularly in busy areas, for example, security checks, baggage claim. Check the contents of your bag after you claim them from screening and know your rights know your rights when it comes to screening these are the rules according to the office of the transportation security first the airport personnel are not allowed to open the bags of the passengers only the x-ray operator should be the one to identify the questioned item after the scan again x-ray operator and if there is a suspicious item identified the airport security should first Ask the passenger what the item was. If something was detected in your bag, they have to ask you first before they open it, huh? And the passengers are the ones who should open their bag and show the items. Ah, that's interesting. Because as far as experience goes, it's always been the person that will open the bag. Huh. And depending on the item, you might have to surrender it. I mean, the government has made steps to address the issue of theft and pilferage in Aia. They've deployed additional security personnel, installed many CCTV cameras. They even established a task force to address the problem. And yet, it remains to be a concern. Parang it's deeply rooted talaga. For us, it's so important that incidents like this are reported so that they can be investigated. So we're calling the government to take drastic action. You must do something about this. Our airports are tourist first and last taste of the Philippines. So all this drama with Naia's safety is absolutely embarrassing. It does not reflect the true Filipino spirit. No, we are warm, welcoming, hospitable, friendly. We're not extortionists. No, this is not what tourists came for. They were expecting smiling Filipinos. And uh, I don't know, but so far I haven't heard similar incidents happening in e in, in Cebu or in other airports like Davao. Oh, try that in Davao. Diba? So it's it's something, it's an IA management problem. It's it's there. It's it's the people there. No, it's the culture there, whatever. Probably syndicates involved. Government, take action. The Department of Transportation, this is your agency. President, come on. You guys have to do something. You have to fix this. This is no good. This is hurting everybody. It's embarrassing. Very embarrassing. And we don't deserve this. We Filipinos, a lot of us pay 1,620 pesos every time we leave the country. You give us this shitty service. Tell me a country who asks their citizens to pay 1,620 pesos, that's a lot of money. For a minimum wage earner, that's like three days of their work. You can't even fix these safety issues in Aia. I'd like a refund. <laughs> Have you had any experience? Comment down below and what would you do if you found out that some contents in your bag are missing?